one of the things that, that we did inside of uh, Filius was to look at, uh, we, we saw dot .info several years ago be targeted. Um, and and be, there's, a, there's a bunch of focused um, uh, targets against dot .info. And dot .info has something like you know, four point something million domain names right now. Um, and we realized pretty quickly a couple of years ago that we had to take clear and specific steps and clear actions um, to address the problem. So we, we did the following things. We built a fast flux automated monitoring um, system inside of the, uh, inside of the registry. Uh, we built a phishing lab, and that lab actually has honeypots. It has traps that, um, you know, where, where people actually go and click on these phishing links, and they make it look like, you know, they are one of the one of the consumers who have gotten affected. We actually have a residential cable coming into one of our offices, so that it looks like it's a real user sitting on a computer, a compromised computer at home. Right? Um, and we've also built some botnet detection. Uh, mechanisms, they, they tend to be pretty, um, not the easiest thing to do because um, botnets are, are shifting and, sh and changing their, their shape and size on a regular basis. But we built <coughs> botnet detection mechanisms. We also started to build some alliances with certs. Uh, and not just the cert inside of your country or inside of your region, but really worldwide. Because uh, imagine in an IDN world, imagine having a, a a Cyrillic uh, domain name being used uh, to fish inside of, say, uh, the Philippines. You would never think of that as a normal thing, but there are enough letters that look the same as English that you could register it in some, you know, some vague domain name somewhere uh, and have it affect um, in your local uh, area.